All right, all right. What's going on? God bless everybody and hope y'all are doing well on this beautiful, beautiful, blessed Saturday. It feels so good outside and we just thank God for the weather. Thank God for so much. I want to give a shout out to my man Kendrick in this video also. Black Friday. You asked me in the email about Black Friday um, and how it came about. And really, man, all this stuff is on the internet where you can research it. But I don't have no problem doing this video either. And, uh, I'm not trying to kill nobody with their little holiday spirit, you know, because everybody gets so caught up in the holidays around this time of the year. And I got to buy this and buy that. There's so many people I got to buy gifts for and haven't bought nothing or done nothing for nobody all year long. And it's sad the way we do each other. It's sad the way we live a lie. But like I say, I'm going to uh, just keep it real and just go off the top of my head in this video. Um, Black Friday, when you think about that, you have to um, go back and research it. And I believe it was either 1967 or 1966, I believe, when President Roosevelt moved Thanksgiving up a week. And it was, it was during the uh, time of the Great Depression because there was a lot of retailers, they wanted an extra week of shopping revenue, and it pleased the retailers, but what happened with the shoppers? It irritated the shoppers who had to change their plans. So with me, I call it Broke Friday, because everybody I know, I mean everybody I know, they're going out and going to get broke on, on, on that Friday after Thanksgiving. And... People are going to be turning right around and looking for that money. And then they're going to turn right around and get broke for Christmas. And then they're going to turn right around again and get broke for having a New Year's party. They got to buy all the liquor and, and, and spend all their money on the party. And like I say, they're going to be looking for that money on the 1st of January. Because you already know when it comes to, I got to get my check on the 1st. Everything due on the 1st or... This, that, the first of the month. And it's funny to me how people complain about being in a recession, but yet and still, they go out and get broke at these holidays. So really, are they all that broke is my question. But uh, not to jump off and all that, but I had to tie that in with this video because the name Black Friday, like I said, it began in 1966. This is when a story appeared in an ad in the Philadelphia Police Department they use the name to describe it. They use Black Friday because you, you, you think about the traffic jams and the, the crowd, and it was so crowded when you go to the downtown stores. Just like now, look at the day after Thanksgiving. You can't get into them stores, all that. People will sleep in front of stores and sacrifice, but won't even get up and go to church. Won't even study the Bible. And then go put two dollars in church and just spent four, five hundred or more on Black Friday. See, this is why I just tell the truth, man. You know, people gonna get mad at me because most of most of the people that I know are doing this. And most black people I know really are doing this, but won't feed the homeless man. Be be stepping over the homeless person, the homeless woman all year long, but yet and still when these holidays come up, people get broke behind them. So I call it broke Friday. And and what it is, is is everything in these stores are going on sale. In other words, clearance, which makes people want to get up early to go buy these things on clearance. But like I was saying, the word black, let's look at the, well, you asked me about that word black. And when you think about if you have worked in the stores, cashiers and, and, and registers and all that stuff, the word black derives from an old account of slang in the, in, in the black first used in a long time ago. Go back to 1920s, 1926. Um, that term was applied to holiday shopping in the late 60s or early 70s. When the business is operating at a loss, what, what, well, what, what you mean, JT? Well, when the business is operating at a loss, it's said to be in what? The red. If you got a bank account or you got your little card, and when that card is in the red, do that mean that card is good? You see that negative. So I remember overdrafting a whole lot of times in my life. Oh, the bank was happy to see me coming because I was living in the red. I was sliding my card on everything just to try to make this work and make this work. And I found myself being in the red. And that wasn't good. 
So when a business is operating at a loss, it's said to be in the red. But referring to the way negative numbers were recorded in account leggers, when the business is making a profit, it's said to be what? In the black. And that's just my little, uh, my little personal opinion on why they call it Black Friday also because when they when the businesses is making a profit, they are in the black. And the letter shows positive numbers recorded in black ink, not red ink. Black Friday is often the day retailers finally begin, begin making a what? A profit for the year. And they shift their status from being in the red to being in the black. So I just wanted to just make that little point. You know, that's why I always look at the red and then looking at being in the black in the retail industry. Most of the profit is made during the five-week period between what? Black Friday and the end of the year. So you now, you see why these holidays, you know, a lot of people love them. And then you know the stores are, or they, that's the time when they are ready for whatever because it's time to make that profit. This is why I say when you break it down, you see Halloween, you see Thanksgiving. And y'all already know, I, I talked about what Thanksgiving was truly, you know, the day the Europeans killed up all the Indians and every. I mean, this is, it was just a terrible time, man. And then wanted to say thank you, God, for the land beat up everybody, killed everybody, and that's the day we want to say, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. But see, Thanksgiving, I give thanks every day that I wake up. I'm not stuck on holidays. I'm stuck on the holy days. I always tell people, God don't have holidays. God have holy days, but you know, it's each day on, knock yourself out, do what you want to do, shop, celebrate, get broke. I mean, that's your business. But what JT do, JT got more important things to focus on than getting broke behind a holiday when I know I got bills that need to be paid. When I know I, I see homeless people that need food and clothes and, and shelter. When I know I need food in my own refrigerator. When I need stuff, I'm not going to go out and get broke behind no holidays. And probably that's another reason why most women ain't going to understand me either because I don't play a part in all that stuff. If you my woman, I'm single right now, but if you my woman, why do I have to wait on a holiday to buy you something? Why can't you be, you know, why can't I give you something during the year? Why should I have to get broke when, when I love you anyway, when love is, is about actions, it's showing, and, and the feelings that it, it, it's, it's okay to say I love you, but what, what good is saying I love you and then I don't never show you that I love you? Hmm. Y'all excuse my neighbor with that loud music over there, but Black Friday, when that's why I say you add up these holidays, this man-made stuff, these calendars, these dates, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Easter, Christmas, New Year's, New Year's, oh man, these holidays, these are the time when most people are going to get broke. But Brother JT, you don't understand, I got a deal on this brand new flat screen TV, but you ain't paid your light bill, how the hell are you going to look at the TV? You done bought the TV, but your lights is off. You need groceries. Your car note is due. Your insurance is due. But the TV was more important. Come on, people. Let's just get real and stop being ignorant. You don't, you, I mean, I mean, it's okay to treat yourself to nice things, but why is it now most people that I know, the material things is more important than keeping their lights on? Bills need to be paid, and I don't want out and bought me a, a new car. They can't even afford the car. So these holidays is the time where most people are going to get broke. And like I say, I ain't trying to kill your spirit, but the truth will kill your spirit because the truth hurt. That's why I always tie stuff in with the word of God, man, because when you go back to what pagans do, when you go back to not teaching people the truth, I mean, people are going to always stay confused. But like I say, knock yourself out. Shout till you drop. But don't come knocking on my door talking about let me borrow some money when you had money and you was ignorant and you was a poor steward and you spent your money on, on, on some material things when you needed to spend your money on your light bill. God almighty. I bought me a big screen, bro. Can I keep it at your house, JT? Because, man, my lights is off. Matter of fact, I went out and bought a, a, a big screen TV and I lost my house. I already knew I was going to lose my house. Now you ain't got nowhere to put the TV. 
tell you what you do. Turn back around and sell that TV. <laughs> I'm just being real, y'all. God bless you and God keep you. Black Friday. Oh, man, I tell you. Holidays, boy, I tell you. Knock yourself out. But I love you. I hope y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. I always make people mad because I tell the truth. And if you want to get mad, just get mad. But I tell the truth because I want people to know what the truth is. Now, it's my job to just tell you. Now, whether you want to accept it, that's your business. Whether you want to agree with it, that's your business. I can tell you the truth about Christmas. I can tell you the truth about Black Friday, Thanksgiving. I can tell you the truth about holidays. I can tell you the truth about the same thing Christians do, the same thing pagans do. And if God got a problem with things, then I'm going to have a problem with it too. But like I say, I'm not, in this video, I'm not judging nobody. You go to your own house just like I go to my own home. I'm not finna put up no Christmas lights. I'm not finna get into no holiday spirit. I get into the Holy Spirit. So love you and God bless you. Peace.